Okay, so the first card is faith. So you need to have a little bit of faith in what is going on. You might be feeling as though you're a bit stuck, uh, you know, a bit closed in, a bit isolated. Maybe you're trying to get out of a situation and you're having uh, a bit of difficulty with it. So you actually need to uh, just have a little bit of faith and there will be a victory of you will be able to sort the situation out. Whatever you're going through, whatever is um, keeping you stuck, if you just pray a little bit, uh, or have a little bit of faith in, in what was going to happen, be a bit positive, you will have a victory in that situation. So in the past, it looks like you've been dealing with some kind of legal situation, and it has caused a big change in your life as well. So there's something legal that has come into your life that has caused really major changes in this past uh, few months. And then you've got uh, the troubleshooter card coming up, which is uh, you need to either ask for some kind of psychic help or, you know, trust your intuition. The troubleshooter is talking about, uh, you can see this lady's holding um, tarot cards in her hands. So maybe consulting a tarot reader um, or uh, just relying on your intuition or speaking to somebody whom you can get a few ideas from. That would be a good uh, way to go. And also be careful. So it's got the stop, look and listen card. And it is, you're trying to sort this. You need to stand back from the situation and look at it uh, from a different point of view almost withdraw from it a little bit and look at it uh, from a, a, a situation where you're not so involved and uh, assess it. So that's why you need to stop, look and listen and therefore also ask for some help from people around you. Maybe somebody who has a different perspective or somebody who is not so involved in the situation. Ask them for some advice. Maybe this is the troubleshooter that you need to speak to. Somebody who is not involved in the situation and who can give you that advice in order for you to look at this from a different perspective. Okay, so those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the low Scarabio uh, deck here, and you can see the boxes there. And you can buy these from uh, this deck from Amazon. I will put the links in for you. This is a very rider weight based deck, so uh, you know you'll be able to read it quite easily if you know that system. So the energies of the cards are the Six of Swords, and you can see here you are uh, moving away from a very, very difficult situation. You may have some support uh, from people around you that are, ha um, are helping you uh, get over whatever is going on. You might This might be an actual move itself where you've had a difficult situation that you were living in and you had to move away from it. But basically, <coughs> this usually uh, refers to, you know, um, more a spiritual journey or more movement away from a situation that is not serving you. You can see the swords up in the air. So you are still looking at all these problems and they are still, uh, you know, causing a lot of distress, all these awful thoughts going through your mind. They're still causing a lot of distress, but you are moving away. You are getting over it and you do have a, a, a vision, uh, a different idea about what you want to do now. And, you know, you are looking at it, but it's not... Um, so much so that they are affecting you uh, in a sense that um, you are you're getting a more objective view about what the problems are. So you're being you're able to see these problems now. In the past, they might have been uh, problems that you were in the midst of, but right now you are now standing back from them and having uh, looking at them, and now I'm, I'm making a decision about which way you want to to go. So definitely moving away from a difficult situation. So you are at a point now where you are, um, whatever problem you're facing at the moment, you haven't made a decision about exactly what you want to do. You're standing back, uh, you know, you're sitting back uh, waiting to make a decision. And you want to make a decision that is based on um, on logic, really, rather than actually being emotionally involved. You see this woman's got her back to the stream here. So that shows that, you know, you need to make the decision based on uh 
no emotions rather than being very emotionally involved. So you need to turn your back on kind on any emotions uh, that are going to sway you in in either direction and look at the facts, look at the pros and cons of the situation and then make the decision. This is a new phase that is beginning. You've got the new moon cycle over here um, and you need to uh, make that decision based on, on logic rather than actual emotions. But a decision will need to be made and it is an important decision because it is going to be something that affects you uh, maybe for the rest of um, of your life or for the long term anyway. So maybe this is the decision involving your independence. You know, you're deciding about how you can be independent of that situation or maybe you want to branch off on your own. This is the Nine of Pentacles. It is showing um, uh, somebody who is financially independent or somebody who is just uh, maybe wants to go it alone, uh, wants to do things by themselves. You know, maybe you are in a relationship or in some kind of situation that involved other people and now you want to do it um, go alone and be independent of all these people it also looks like you know you are you have uh, sufficient finances here maybe you have a savings account uh, that will allow you to be financially independent of these people or you're working and that will allow your financial independence so you are trying to make the decision about whether or not uh, you know, you want to leave that situation and go off and be independent, um, do it by yourself. And this, um, it seems like whatever situation you want to leave was something very, very difficult. Uh, you know, you had to deal with something very difficult and now you want to. And it looks like it might have been a family situation because you've got the Ten of Swords underneath that six. So it might have been a very difficult family situation that you're leaving behind right now. And you're making, trying to make a decision about whether you want to be independent of them. So you're faced with that kind of situation at the moment. So in past, you've got the Seven of Cups, you have the Seven of Chalices, which shows that you are going through a lot of emotional turmoil and a lot of confusion going on in your life. You really don't, didn't know what to do, especially in the last year. You've been having, you know, you've had a lot of options or uh, needing to make a lot of decisions, but really not knowing which way or which pathway to, to to choose. And, you know, you want that emotional satisfaction, you want that happiness, but it seems like you don't really don't know how to go about doing it. You're really at a place where you're quite stuck and you can see that with this two of uh, swords here, you seem to be quite stuck in that particular position, not knowing how to decide and what decision to make, especially now you've got all these options or uh, you've got decisions to make and you really don't want to make it because you really uh, can't see the wood for the trees. You've got the Two of Pentacles. This is another choice card. Uh, so you are maybe juggling finances, juggling money, uh, maybe even juggling a work situation, deciding which particular job you want to do. This could well be a um, a work situation as well, where you've um, you've got um, an option of two kind of two jobs, and this has uh, been coming to the forefront in this past three months. So it's about juggling your money or trying to um, get balance with your finances, trying to make sure that everything that is going out, um, you know, is not as much. Um, so that you know you can save some money so you have had a bit of problems as far as money goes it seems like you can see these two scarab beetles are going in two opposite directions so it looks like maybe uh, you know your finances are going out um you know you're spending on two different on things that are are um uh, uh taking the money out rather than bringing it in because these scarab beetles are not facing each other so they it doesn't seem like they're they're working your finances are even working uh in your favor right now um, and, you know, it seems to be almost an endless cycle of where, you know, you're just making enough uh, and not managing to accumulate money. And it seems to be even worse in these past three months. I suppose it, it, it's worsened even with this Christmas season uh, that has come in and that may have even uh, affected your finances quite a bit. <coughs> so, so what's on your mind is the judgment card. So you are trying to make a decision. Uh, here and you know you are being called to make a decision really that's how you feel uh, maybe you've been trying to resurrect something from the past bring something back from the past maybe a relationship maybe an old situation uh, you, this uh, angel's got an hourglass in their hand so you feel that time is running out and you need to make this decision pretty quickly uh, maybe something is driving you to make it maybe you're being forced to make this decision but it's definitely something that's going to cause a big change and maybe this is why you're holding back making the decision the decision so going into the future you've got the seven of swords so it looks like you're going to just have to leave that situation whatever uh, has happened you're going to have to cut your losses and go you can see he's leaving these two swords behind and taking the ones that he has in his hand uh, and moving on this might have also been a situation where there was a lot of deceit lies 
a lot of problems. And, um, you know, whatever situation you're going to go into, it may be a temporary situation. It is not something uh, that is going to be in the long term. So you might be making this decision to move into something that is very temporary, leaving behind a difficult situation, leaving behind the things that you cannot take and walking away. You can see there's a lot of tents over here. So uh, this particular uh, place that you want to go to to get your independence might be just a stepping stone in towards um, a more stable situation. So you might have to uh, go into a state where you're in uh, an interim position, uh, um, a temporary situation, and then go into a more permanent position. But whatever situation you are leaving behind, there was a lot of deceit, a lot of lies, and you've had a lot of losses as well because this person has, has had to leave these swords behind. <laughs> and just take what they could what they could carry so maybe that is the way that situation has been where you've had to just just take what you can uh you know maybe carry just take your belongings and leave a situation that is not working out for you and it looks like that is coming up in the near future so you're going to have to leave that decision that uh, position so it looks like you are going to make a decision to actually leave that situation so what's going on around you or, or with you rather you've got the nine of swords uh nine of wands over here so there was um and you can see these wands are on fire here so it's a very, very difficult, very volatile situation. There might have been a lot of arguments, a lot of battles. You can see all these uh, wands are tied together. And it looks like they were fighting uh, fights with different people. There are various people, various different kinds of swords and um, spears here. Um, so you had a lot of arguments and a lot of fights with a lot of people. And now, you know, you've managed to sort the situation because you can see the swords, uh, the all the wands are tied up. Um, but uh, you are very defensive at this particular moment. So you are protecting yourself, uh, standing up for yourself, but you've had a lot of battles. Uh, they call this card the, the wounded warrior. So you've, you've come through a lot, a very, very difficult situation. You're just about managing to get it under control. Uh, but you are having to protect yourself and you are very, very tired after having fought, uh, you know, quite a, quite a difficult, um, situation to overcome. So what's happening around you, you might receive a message. You can see this is a the Three of Swords and this man is sending out smoke signals. You might be waiting for a message to come from somebody. So you might be waiting for information, waiting for news, or even waiting to get, um, you, can see, you can see he's considering this, he's almost reading this message. So you are, you are waiting for some kind of information to come to you, some kind of message to get you out of the situation. This is almost like an SOS that you're sending out to somebody. So you might be asking somebody for some help or asking for some uh, kind of assistance and you are waiting for that assistance to come in. And once in your mind, you want to cut out that situation and walk away. This is in your hopes and fears. So it looks like you've incurred quite a big loss because you can see the skeleton is bare bones and walking away, cutting out that situation. So you have uh, lost a lot of things, a lot of um, um, your personal belongings because the skeleton has no skin even on him so you've lost a lot and you've had to leave it cut it uh, cutting out that situation and walking away from it uh, but having left everything having almost lost everything and walking away from it so going into the future you've got the queen of cups the knave of cups and the three of cups and this is um all to do with um, your Pisces. This is all to do with your sign, water sign. The Queen of Cups is basically your card, um, and it's talking about um, you know being very upset. You know you're crying quite a bit. Uh, you're looking at uh, to see, you know to see what had happened, all the emotional problems that you've been going. So you're looking at your cup and uh, finding whether or not you know it's empty. It looks like uh, you're you're very upset about it, and you're very focused on these emotions. You've got a stalk over here, which is talking about change, about change of home. Uh, so you will be moving physically, moving from wherever you're living in, but you're very upset and very depressed, and you're looking to the past a lot and looking at all the things that have happened. So you're in, in, a, in a state of depression at the moment, it seems. But there is going to be some kind of offer that comes in. So it looks like somebody is going to come in and offer you maybe a place to stay, maybe a, a new uh, emotional uh, um, support uh, you can see there's a fish in the cup. So they're going to give you something that is very tangible, very solid. They're going to uh, assist you and help you. And this message is coming in. Uh, with the knave of um, 
it's not only a message, but it is actual help that is coming in. So there is a concrete offer that is coming in for you to move home. <coughs> you can see there's the tortoise. Um, and the tortoise carries his home with him. So you're going to have to, with the stork, it's talking about a change of home. And the tortoise, you're going to, this person might be offering you a place to stay, someplace new, uh, someplace better. You've got the swan over here. So uh, someplace better than what you've been living in or the situation that you are in. This person's offer is going to bring you more, um, much more emotional fulfillment. You'll be happier going or accepting this offer. Uh, and it is a genuine offer. It is not something that is just a uh, fly by night. So it is something that you really should accept. And, um, you know, you will be very, very happy. You'll be very, very supported. Uh, it might be, um, you know, a place that is with friends. So this might be a friend or it could be a sibling. Somebody offering you a place that you will be very happy. You've got the Three of Cups over here. It's a celebration. So getting into a more stable situation and a place that is much more um, something that um, gives you much more joy uh, than what you've been in. So you are going through a period of depression, but there is an offer coming in and you should accept that offer because it's something that's going to make you much happier than what you've been in. So you've been going through a, quite a difficult situation. You've had a, uh, a quite a, f a, a bit of trauma uh, and now it seems like, you know, you are moving away. It looks like you will move home uh, and move away from it. And it looks like there is an offer that is coming in for you to actually find a new place to stay. Um, so let's see what the oracle cards have got to say. So the first card is the crossroads. And it says you are at a crossroads in your life. And you can see that this is the case with this Two of Swords. Uh, the choices you make now must be practical, not emotional. And that is exactly what this Two of Swords says. You have to be uh, um, logical, practical, not emotional. Uh, you are not at a dead end. You are free to choose the direction in which you want to go. So plan. So you are at a crossroads in your life and, uh, you know, you need to make a decision based on practicality. If uh, it's a new place that you need to go to that will get you out of this uh, situation that is causing so much of turmoil, then you need to take it uh, so that you can recover, so that you are not so upset and so depressed. At this time, you may be tempted to take a risk or spend money you cannot afford. Or you might become attracted to a person who is married or committed. Avoid temptation at this time. So you need to think, plan very carefully and avoid any kind of temptation that is going to mean you spending extra money or um, you know doing things that are going to be detrimental for you. So be very careful, be very practical in what you do. And the final card is endurance. You will find that life is a constant test of endurance. Don't give up now. Greater happiness and rewards to come. Your lesson is endurance. So you have to hang in there. You have to hang in there and you have to, you will get the support that you need. People will be there to help you. This endurance card says you need, even though things look really, really bad right now, there is a solution and you are not at a dead end. You might be at a crossroads, but you're not at a dead end. And you need to make a choice that is going to be good for you. It's going to be um, a choice that gets you into a place. Somebody will bring an offer for you, uh, you know, to move home or to change, um, get out of the situation. You've got the stork, you've got the tortoise, they're offering you accommodation, it seems, and it's going to make you very, very happy. Uh, you'll be happier in this new situation, and it is a genuine offer. So you've been going through a lot of battles, a lot of fights, but you need to cut your losses and move. The situation that you move into might be a temporary situation, but it's going to offer you that happiness, and it's going to be a stepping stone towards more stability. And you do want to end up cutting away all that negativity and move on, you are waiting for some kind of offer to come in, and it will. You will get some kind of message coming in uh, that allows you. And you can see there's three rods in the smoke signal over here. So it looks, and the, the final card is the Three of Cups. So it looks like you might be moving in with two other people, uh, and, uh, you know, they, they want you to come stay with them, and it looks like you'll be very, very happy. Uh, so you are considering that offer. You will consider that offer, and it will come in, um, and it is going to give you a, a lot more stability and much more happiness.